Hello everyone, Adrian here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're one of my subscribers, welcome back again. Today's video I am so excited to be filming. Um, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm friends with LBD Beauty or uh, formerly London Makeup. She invited me to do a collab today and it's the Pretty in Springs Pastel Collaboration. It's a bunch of beautiful ladies that we're collaborating with. I'm not going to go through the list of everyone's names, but um, as I'm talking right now, I'm going to be posting them up so you can see and go over and watch their channels and see what their pastel looks turned out to look like. A couple of those ladies I have already been following for a while, like Keeping It Simple with Bridget and Lori a few weeks ago. I started following her also and have been enjoying her channel, but I'm getting to know some of the other ladies here on YouTube and they have a lot of content that's similar to mine that I think if you like my channel, you'd find interesting watching their channel and just getting another take on how to do different looks with um, some of the current palettes that are out, some of the old palettes. It just always helps when you have a different variation of people to show you how to work and use um, different palettes in your collection. The palette I'm choosing to create my pastel look with is this Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. If you saw my haul about a month ago, you would have seen that I just got this palette recently and this is going to be my first time using it outside of just doing some hand swatches. So I will open it up and show you what the colors look like in this palette in case you haven't seen it. It isn't a new palette, but this is definitely going to challenge me because I can't say that pastel looks is something that I ever really wear. The only pastel look that I created was the ColourPop Meant to Be um, palette. I did a video on that. And I didn't really care for the look of that palette, so this one looks like it's got some deeper shades. So I'm hoping that I will be able to make this palette look good, come out with some decent look. And I can't wait to go through and watch all the ladies and see what their looks turned out to be. Because I've picked up a couple of pastel palettes over the last month or so, so... I don't want to have them just sitting in my collection and not using them. So this is a great collaboration and I think a lot of good ideas are going to come out of it. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this look. And looking at the palette, I kind of have an idea. I want to stick with the colors of my scarf here. I'm looking to stick with more of the lavender shades and the greens. So... I haven't decided how I want to start this look out. I think what I'm going to do is take this brush here and go in, make sure I'm in focus, with this lime green shade. And I'm going to try to keep it under control and just sweep it right in here in the crease and see how that looks. Just building that color up. And it is pretty sheer, but I can see the color building up, taking a little more of that, just deepening this, intensifying it. I know that um, I've seen other people use pastel palettes and they have said that with the blending and the more you blend them a lot of times the pigmentation kind of goes away. So I think that this is building up pretty decent. I'm going to just do the same thing to the other eye. I cannot wait for spring. Like a week ago here, it was 60 some degrees. It was so nice and sunny every single day and I loved it. And now this last past week, it's been back in the 30s and 40s with rain and chilly. And so it seems a little odd doing this collaboration when I was first asked to do it. And then last week when the weather was so nice, I got so excited and thought, oh my gosh, spring is here. And it's right around the corner, and I know it's right around the corner because I think the first official day of spring is March 21st, so we are almost there. But there's sometimes I live in central Illinois, that it's still cold even in May. Like, you would think you could wear shorts and do all that, but sometimes it's still kind of chilly. And there have been times where we've even had snow in April, so I may be getting a little too excited early. I'm going to try to go in with this shade here and put that underneath that green. Oh, it looks like it's going to build up pretty decent. I'm kind of patting it on with this blending brush. I don't know that I want to 
try any blending motions doing this with these pastels because I don't want them to mix together and lose the color. This is turning out really pretty though. Just going down in that inner corner. I kind of wanted to do an all matte look, but of course I have to just get into these shimmers because they're so gorgeous to look at. And I'm picking up a little more of that lavender shade. Gosh, uh, this palette is performing beautifully. I was really concerned about doing this with the pigmentation because I have grabbed a lot of pastels out of some other palettes I have and it seems like they are so hard to build especially on deeper skin tones but this is giving me no problem at all. Just coming into the inner corner a little bit. I am going to start now with the shimmer shades. I'm thinking to do these two shimmers here and maybe this one. I usually don't like to put shimmers in the crease but I think I am going to go ahead and do that today. The only other deeper shade in the palette seems to be this one here and it's like a chocolate cherry color so I don't want to mess up my pastel look with that color. So with this Smith brush I'm going to go ahead and spray a little e.l.f. primer on it. And I will go in with this lime green shade here first. Oh, that's pretty intense. I am loving this. Pick up a little bit more. Wow, this shadow is applying easily. And now I'm going to spray my brush again so I can do the other eye. I did not, like I said, use this palette before, so this is the first time I am creating this look with no practice, but I thought that would make that all the more fun since I'm not comfortable with it. And I'm, this is only my second collab. My first collab, um, I'll post a link to above. I did back in, I think it was May, last May, with um, Lynette, LBD Beauty, and it was um, just the two of us, so this is so exciting that the collab has grown this big, and I'm really liking that a lot more YouTubers are starting to pair up and do big group collabs like this, so that you get to learn about so many more people that you wouldn't have known anything about their channel. So, this is really exciting. I'm going to go in with this shade. Let me make sure I'm not using the green side of the brush. I would not want to mix these two colors together. Might have got my brush a little too wet. Oh, no, that is perfect. It's beautiful. Taking a little more of that shade. And these just tap on so well. I feel like you don't have to do an extreme amount of blending. Gosh, that looks really good. The pigmentation of these shades, like I said, even the pastels was really, really good. Okay, so picking up this shade, I'm not going to wet this brush since I'm going to be putting it in the outer V. And... I don't think I need to be concerned with it being overly deep or dark since this is more of a pastel look. And I think I may just put it literally on the very outer V and not go up into the crease with it. I don't want to lose that pastel purple shade that I used. But I am going to go back in when I finish building this up a little and intensify that pastel purple shade in the crease because I want every color that I use to be pretty defined. And I'm now looking for what I want to put in the inner corner of the eye for a pop. And I almost want to use this lemon shade here, but it looks like it's going to be just as deep as 
the green shade here and not really give much of a highlight. So I think I'm going to scratch that idea and go in with this in the inner corner. That's turning out pretty nice. I don't feel like I need to spray my brush. Just a little bit more here. And going back in with this shade and just building it up, lightly tapping it. I'm really excited about this. And if you're new to my channel, um, I am a shopaholic. I love eyeshadow palettes, so I buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes. There's a lot of first impressions, reviews, things like that on eyeshadow palettes. So if that's your thing, you're definitely in the right place. I'm going to take that green again and go back over the top of that intensify it and you know I'm actually liking this I usually don't take my crease shades all the way up to the brow bone but this green looks pretty good going up to the brow bone okay this is the completed look I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back here is the completed pastel look I'm not quite sure what I think of it. It has turned out better than what I thought. I guess I'm just not used to seeing myself in something um, this light. Although I will say like a couple of the shades on the eyelid are not that light. They're actually kind of deep. So that looks a little strange to me, especially what I put in the outer V being darker than the shades that are in the crease. But overall, I have to say that I don't necessarily totally hate this look. I don't know if I would feel comfortable with it quite the way I have it. I would probably want a really deeper crease shade and more of the matte pastels probably on the eyelid. But when I decided to put this look together, I just uh, picked out my clothing first and then looked at the eyeshadow palette and figured out the colors that would go with it. And I decided I would just jump in and just put on the first few things that came to mind and see how the look comes out. This is all just for fun anyway to challenge ourselves because I don't think that for women of color they typically pick up pastels as their first pick but I am so excited that I got to collab with all these wonderful ladies and please down in the comment section let me know whose channel you came here from if you've made it through this video this long you might as well tell me um, who sent you here and also are pastel shades something that you'll be trying? Please also let me know in the comment section if someone's look in this collab inspired you to maybe pick up a pastel palette and consider wearing more of them over the summer. Um, I'm sure that there's definitely bound to be somebody's look that impresses you out of this group in the collab. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it did give you some inspiration and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys soon.